The French Navy is welcoming a special guest. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg is here for the start of major anti-submarine exercises in the Norwegian Sea. It comes shortly after the German Foreign Minister accused the alliance of warmongering by holding military drills in Eastern Europe. But Stoltenberg insists exercises like this are necessary. We have seen a more assertive Russia, which has tripled uh, uh, defence spending since 2000, uh, which uh, has acquired uh, new and more modern uh, different uh, capabilities, and which has been willing to use military force against uh, an independent country, uh, Ukraine. These drills include 13 vessels from eight NATO countries. Under the watchful eye of commanders, speedboats chased imaginary enemy submarines in the Trondheim fjord on the first day. We have to detect a submarine from a ship, to detect a submarine from an helicopter or from a patrol aircraft, and we will try to improve our skills in all underwater detection. The 10 days of exercises will mostly take place in international waters. A senior commander said he would not be surprised if the Russian Navy sought to shadow the NATO fleet. This is what happened in April. Russian jets flying dangerously close to the USS Donald Cook in international waters in the Baltic Sea. What I see with the Russians is a set of behaviour that I think is, it makes us uncomfortable. It is the way the Russians are deploying their submarine assets and their surface assets. They're just starting to get in the way just a little bit too much. And the great concern about that is it, it's a, an opportunity for misadventure. Vice Admiral Johnston said earlier this year that Russian submarine activity was reaching levels not seen since the Cold War, when NATO and Soviet fleets played cat and mouse in the Norwegian Sea. Leaders on both sides say they don't want to return to those days, but NATO commanders insist that in the face of a resurgent Russia, naval forces must be ready.